Namaste. Thought I'd jump on and just talk about the theme that we're following this week. Um, we're open second day today, and it's been amazing so far. Um, the vibe has been quite interesting in a nice way. Um, some nervous feelings yesterday, but you know, getting over that and and just looking uh, forward to moving forward um, and building building back up you know, to how we were before. But um. I don't know, I just was really, um, just really liking the theme and what we're speaking to this week um, as we're following the eight limbs of yoga. Um, and we're up to the fourth limb, uh, pranayama. You know, pranayama may seem like such a insignificant piece of the, the, the eight limbs or the path of yoga or just in life in general. But breath is... I guess this key indicator of how we are in our life and, and how, how much we can think or the range of our thinking is, you know, they say that breath and mind are intimately connected and, you know, breath and prana being a little more tangible than, than mind, we are able to manipulate or control our prana or energy or breath you know, as, as the breath is something that we do 24 seven all the time, consciously or unconsciously. And, you know, when we unconsciously breathe, we're allowing life outside of us to dictate what we become. And then we continually, you know, unconsciously grip onto things and hold onto things. And then we slowly, it's like we're slowly suffocating ourselves. And then when we're not realizing or what we're not realizing is what's happening with our breath and if we check on in our breath it becomes shallower and shallower and shallower and they say i don't know so i remember my teacher octavia talking about you know the majority of the population just are shallow breathers and this is because we're unconscious or unaware of of what's happening in the triggers that we come across and what we hold on to but when we learn to be able to take a hold of our breath or control our breath we can reverse that process we can learn to expand through the contraction of what we create. Um, there's so many different breaths that we can play with. We can play with expanding our inhale or lengthening the inhale, which helps with inviting life in or this ability to receive. Um, when we learn to lengthen the exhale, it gives us this letting go or surrendering um, effect. Um, so the more that we're able to, you know, control our breath or be mindful of our breath, and we start to shift or change how we feel. We start to shift and change our reality and our perception of life. Uh, the range or yeah, expansion or the range of our life and or our thought process. You know, it's like literally this bridge between conscious, unconscious, this bridge between manifested and unmanifested, even in the order of where pranayama uh, sits in the eight limbs, it's right in the middle between the asana portion and the yamas and yamas that come first, all the, the physicality and the, the manifested stuff, then pranayama, and then all the meditation stuff after that. <clears throat> and it's literally the same just within ourself. You know, our breath is this bridge between the inside world and the outside world. It's this thing that we can touch, but at the same time, that's not really there. So it literally is this bridge, this gap between, you know, inside world, outside world. And the more that we're able to take a hold of it or be present with it or be aware of it and then start to shift it and change it in a way that suits us because all the breaths do different things. We can help ourselves create calmness. We can help ourselves create expansion or stimulation just through our breath. Complemented with the asana and all other aspects of the practice, we can help ourselves massively. But this week, we're just focusing on the breath during class. Um, you know, so much to focus on, so much to be aware of. Um, and I love teaching this stuff. If you're interested, maybe come down and, and try a class. Uh, it'd be awesome to see you there. Namaste.